Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is how I make my blueberry cheesecake chimichangas. So let's get started. So in my pot I have two cups of fresh blueberries, fourth of a cup of sugar, five tablespoons of water. I'll add in a fourth of a teaspoon of lemon zest and a tablespoon of lemon. I'll put this on my burner and cook it for 10 to 12 minutes. My blueberries are on the stove, so in a separate bowl, I have two tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of cornstarch, a fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla, and a pinch of salt. I'll mix this all together, and then I'll add that to my blueberry mixture. This is what it will look like once it's all mixed together. So I'm waiting on my blueberries. When my blueberries are done, I'll add this to the blueberries. You can see it's starting to boil on the sides. So I'll mix it around. Oh, I see a stem. In another bowl, I'll put in a third of a cup of sugar and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'll mix it together and I'll leave this off to the side. Mix the cinnamon and sugar together. Okay, that looks good. So now we'll leave this off to the side. This cinnamon and sugar that I'm placing off to the side is to go on top of the tortilla shells after I get done frying them. So I have this all prepared. I'll place it off to the side. Blueberry mixture is looking good. Couple more minutes, it'll be ready. Now I'll add the cornstarch mixture and I'll mix that around. It'll thicken it up a little bit. I'll take it off my burner. That thickened up beautifully. So I'll leave that off to the side. In my bowl I have 8 ounces of softened cream cheese. I have 2 tablespoons of powdered sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. Now I'll mix this until it's well combined. It looks good. It's well combined. So I'll turn my mixer off. I have a couple tortilla shells. What I'm going to do once the blueberries are cooled down, I'll place little blueberries and then the cream cheese, fold it up, place some toothpicks so it stays folded and then put it in my frying pan with a little bit of uh, vegetable oil and then fry them on both sides and then coat them with this sugar and cinnamon. My blueberry mixture cooled. I have my tortilla shell in front of me so now I'll place a little of this blueberry mixture and then a little of the cream cheese mixture and then roll it up and place it in my frying pan. So now I'll place some of the blueberry mixture in the center
along with my cream cheese mixture. It's about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. Now I'll fold the sides in and then roll it up. I'll place a toothpick in just to hold it. Now I'll place this in my frying pan. I'll place it in. You want to brown it on each side and then drain it on a paper towel. Once you've drained off all the excess grease, then that's when you roll it in the sugar and cinnamon. I'll remove the toothpicks once it's fried. Depending upon how much mixture you put inside, it'll probably make about five to six of these chimichangas. Trying to get it on the side. See how it nicely browned it? So now I'll place this on my paper towel. I have my cinnamon and sugar in this plate. So now that I rolled it in the cinnamon and sugar, I'll place it on this plate and I'll repeat the process all over again. So here are the rest of the chimichangas. It made a total of six. So I'll place it in. Now I'm on the last chimichanga. I'm browning it on the other side. It made a total of six. So this is a great dessert. So now I'll taste one of my blueberry cheesecake chimichangas. I have it on my plate. I'll take my knife, cut it in half. So you can see the inside. Doesn't that look good? So now I'll give it a try. Now I'm going to try a bite. Mmm. That's really, really good. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watching me make my blueberry cheesecake chimichangas. They're really good. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.